Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once more to Bivish Medical Center, where your health has always been a priority to us. I am uh, Mr. Mufo Betran Ashu, the lab manager at Bivish Medical Center. Today we will be talking on viral hepatitis. Thanks to Dr. Allen, who already told us much about hepatitis, and we already have a lot on the insights of hepatitis. We will dive directly into how hepatitis, viral hepatitis is diagnosed at a sophisticated laboratory like Bivage Medical Laboratory. Hepatitis, we know of a different type of hepatitis, hepatitis virus, but today we will focus on hepatitis B and C, but to be more precise on hepatitis B. Hepatitis C virus has a cure. Hepatitis C virus, when you say hepatitis C virus is positive, the, 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 the client is asked to do a hepatitis C virus, ELISA, which will now, which we use the ELISA to follow up the treatment of the patient. So now, hepatitis B virus, our most important virus. Hepatitis B virus, this is a, a, a virus that affects the liver. So when hepatitis B virus surface antigen is positive, it means hepatitis B is present in the system. So what do we do? At that point, there is a test that is always demanded, which is called hepatitis B virus panel. HBV panel is a test that gives us the inside of the hepatitis, the activities of the, uh, of the hepatitis in the system. Hepatitis B panel has five other components attached to it. That is, we have a hepatitis B surface antigens, hepatitis B surface antibodies, hepatitis B core antibodies, hepatitis B envelope antigens, hepatitis B envelope antibodies. Uh, we will try to expand a bit on uh, this different type of uh, 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 hepatitis component in the hepatitis panel. We will start with hepatitis B core antibodies. Hepatitis B core antibodies gives us the duration of the hepatitis in the system. That is, it tells us if the hepatitis is acute, that is a newly infected, a newly infected person less than six months, or it is a chronic hepatitis, that is, the infection has been there for more than six months. Hepatitis B core antibodies is divided into two. We have the hepatitis B core antibodies, IgM, which indicates if the person is acute, if the hepatitis is an acute hepatitis. Or we have hepatitis B core antibodies, IgG, which tells us if it is a chronic hepatitis. Therefore, it, whether each, uh, either is, pre is positive, it tells us if it is actually acute or chronic. We will move now to our hepatitis B envelope antigen. Hepatitis B envelope antigen is a is an antigen is a is a protein. It's actually a viral protein that is produced by the virus hepatitis in the liver, and it is later secreted into the bloodstream by the liver by damaged liver cells. When hepatitis B envelope antigen is positive, it means the virus is at its maximum activity. It is act, it is actively replicating. That is, there are many copies of hepatitis B in the system. At that point, the person is highly infectious. Hepatitis B envelope antigen, when it is negative, it means, it does not mean the person does not have hepatitis. It means the hepatitis is there, but the activity of the hepatitis has been slowed down, either by a treatment or a newly infected uh, uh, person or a newly infected case. But if hepatitis B envelope antigen is negative, it does not still mean that the hepatitis, the hepatitis B has been slowed down or hepatitis B is not in the system. It, we, it might also mean that the person has a mutant hepatitis. That is what we call mutant hepatitis B virus. It's a virus that has developed intelligence. That is, it does not show positive when tested for the antigens. The antigen is negative, meanwhile the, the virus is actively replicating. So at that point, we move to hepatitis B envelope antibodies. 
when hepatitis B envelope antigen is negative and hepatitis B envelope antibody is positive, it means the hepatitis B is a mutant hepatitis and it is actively replicating. That is why the antibodies, are, 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 the E antibodies are present. So, hepatitis, hepatitis B envelope antibodies is not a protective antibody, but it is an antibody that indicates that there is hepatitis B envelope antigen in the system. Okay, from there we will dive directly into uh, 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 some of the other tests that are usually demanded with hepatitis. We have uh, the treatment follow-up test. Treatment follow-up test, you have the quantitative hepatitis B surface antigen, or call it ELISA, and you have uh, uh, hepatitis B viral load or hepatitis B virus DNA. Then they might also demand hepatitis uh, uh, urea that is to know the function of the of the of the of the uh, uh, kidney, they to know the function of the kidney before treatment or during treatment. When hepatitis B quantitative hepatitis B surface antigen or ELISA is demanded. It is demanded before the, per the person is placed on treatment. That is, before the person is placed on treatment, it is demanded. And then when the person is placed on treatment, two or three months after, it is really demanded to know if, to see the activity of the hepatitis with the treatment. If the hepatitis has actually reduced or how the treatment is reacting on the, on, on, on the, on the, on the, on the patient. That is, if hepatitis B, if ELISA is greater than 1, it means it is positive. If it is between 0 0.9 to one, it means it is maybe reducing or a newly infected case and when it is less than 0 0.9 it means the hepatitis is negative. So uh, uh, at this point we have a hepatitis B viral viral load which is frequently demanded to, 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 to see the actual copies of the hepatitis in the system. Then we have other liver tests that are usually demanded. We have azat alert or call it GOT, GPT as that does alanine uh, amino transferase, which tells us uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a protein that is released in the, in, a, in the system by the liver, by damaged liver cells. We have our alpha fetoprotein, which is actually a marker, a cancerous marker, which tells us maybe the liver is actually falling into a cancerous stage. We also have our, our ferritinin. Ferritinin is an um, ion stored in the liver. Ion, the liver stored ion in the form of ferritinin. And when the liver is damaged, it is the, the, the ferritinin is released now into the system, which is actually dictated. Then we have our FBC full blood count, which is a test that tells us if if alpha fetoprotein is positive, then uh, uh, we do our FBC to know if it is actually falling into a cancerous stage or not. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope with this short piece you've got a lot. You've learned a lot about hepatitis, how it is done in in the laboratory. Uh, we will be open to receive your questions. We are open 24 on 24, 7 on 7 for your questions. Thank you. I remember for Bertrand, Ashu, the Lamanja, and the Rich Medical Center. You are welcome.